Okay, hey, you're on live here, honey. Thank you very much for Bye. telling me about your <laughs> trees. Okay, it says we are live, and I just gotta cover my face a little bit so that I can see. Hello and good afternoon, everyone. This is day three of the 14-day Go Live video challenge, and I just thought I'd pop here outside in the yard and try this new feature, StreamYard, on my phone. So we're going to see if this works, and hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Let me know if you can hear me okay with my mic that's there at my throat. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see comments come up or not on my screen. So we're just going to go with it. So today in the 14 day go live video challenge here with Helen Martin and about oh, around a thousand other people from all over the globe. We are uh, challenged to um, tell you a little bit about the, oh my goodness, I got hair in my mouth. Sorry about that. Tell you a little bit about the effects of what um, this lockdown has done for us. Um, some of the experiences that we have taken on takeaways that we have had from the past three months uh three or four months i guess it's been almost four now um and before i go any further i just about forgot to introduce myself my name is uh, heather edmondson as it says right there <laughs> and i am coming at you live this afternoon a beautiful afternoon here in medicine hat alberta canada western canada in the northern hemisphere um, um it is 30 what is it, 31 degrees out here, um, not not too much wind, um, pretty hot. And uh, now I can continue on with my little discussion with you all. Uh, hopefully you can see me well and hear me okay. If somebody coming on here would just let me know, that would be perfect. If you're coming in here after the fact, please hit replay and let me know. Um, and then I will give you a shout out after the fact. So the effects of this COVID I am a nurse, I work full time. I uh, had to be off for uh, almost three weeks waiting to be tested because I had some of the symptoms, signs and symptoms of uh, COVID. I didn't have a fever, but I did have a scratchy throat and a stuffy nose, but springtime in Alberta, uh, we have lots of pollen and lots of that fluff from the poplar trees and stuff. So I don't know if it was just something like that going on. Uh, another thing that happened uh, personally in our family is that our daughter's uh, wedding had to be postponed. Um, it was scheduled to be at Easter, over Easter weekend. And uh, of course, she was going to have more than over um, a few guests. So um, because of the numbers, um, that all had to be postponed. So that was a huge um, life changing thing that happened in our family. Sorry, I still got bug bugging around here. That's what happens when you try and go outside in the yard. I don't know if you can see behind me here. Yeah, there's some of my hubby's very first garden that he made. So that's why I thought I'd sit out here and, and show it that, some of that to you. Another huge thing that affected our whole family, um, not so much immediate family, but um, extended family. Um, we have uh, my husband, one of his cousins here in Alberta, or here in Canada, has... Um, had a father-in-law that actually passed away with COVID. Um, he was a healthy 73-year-old, I think is what he was. Um, he was out golfing. He actually walked and golfed 18 holes and um, went to the dentist in that time period. And about a week or so later, um, ended up having some of the signs and symptoms. And a few days later, ended up in the hospital and intubated. And in less than two weeks from um, from when he was golfing to the very end, uh, he passed away uh, without family beside at his um, bedside because they weren't allowed in the hospital. And uh, it was a shock to everyone because he was a younger, healthier person and had um, no pre-existing conditions. Like I said, he was healthy and fit and walked the golf course and um, yeah. COVID took his life from, from us. So that was a, a very uh, real and um, sad moment in, um, in, the family's, in the family's life here. So um, that, is, that is something that we have to, a lot of people uh, around here haven't been taking COVID that seriously, um, haven't been taking this virus that seriously. So um, that was kind of a wake up call. Uh, about a month and a half after that happened, that was pretty much at the beginning of all of this um, sickness going around. Um, 
our oldest daughter tested positive here in um, in our community uh, for COVID. When and she picked it up through um, a coworker that she works with, brought it and kind of spread it through um, the office that she works in, the bank that she works at. So then she had to be isolated for 14 days, um, and she only had symptoms like um, like pretty much like I said I did, like the allergy type symptoms, a um, little bit of chest tightness, a um, little bit of a scratchy throat, uh, a minor cough, but um, never really truly got horribly sick over this. Um, so we were we were fortunate that way. Um, then we all had to take, all of our family had to take precautions, even though we weren't actually close in contact with her, but uh, she had come in our backyard um, a few days before she got tested. Uh, it was my husband's birthday and we had, um, we had, um, then everybody came and sang him happy birthday, basically uh, drove by their cars and honked their horns and, and whatever, and then came back in the backyard, but none of us were close to other things. So, um, um, yeah, that was, that was kind of a, a scary moment in our, in our whole family's life there. So yeah, I do have some people popping on here. Hi, Judy and Bob. And that's all about, I can read you, read from you because it's on my phone and it's about this big. So I can't really read what you're saying. I will, I will give you a shout after the fact. So with my daughter testing positive, then her testing herself, and he had just gotten back to work after um, being off for three days. And he was quite upset about that because um, he has his own company. And um, so every day that he's not working, he's not making any money. So that was um, kind of um, kind of sad. But when he got his results back, he was actually here. Um, we got stuff popping up on here. Hopefully I'm still on. Hopefully you can still see me. Um, had a little interruption there so what else can i tell you um through being a nurse and helping out people and stuff i know that i know that um a lot of people have had to go in and um, purchase groceries i haven't been in the grocery store since probably i'm going to say january because i have a spouse my hubby can actually go out and get groceries for you for us so um, People's homes um, and those things. So that's that's uh, my take on it. Um, my husband has also been going out and getting purchasing the groceries for his mother, who is um, in her um, late 80s. She'll be 87 this year. So we've had to do, or he's had to do that, purchase stuff for her. Um, we are trying to stay in contact with our families and friends and stuff like that. We've had virtual meals through social social platforms that we've had virtual meals with friends and and wine and cheese and and those type of things that we had never considered of ever doing before before all this outbreak happened. So that is very cool. We should have been doing that with the with these people for years. Uh, people that we are in different cities and different countries. Uh, those things. Um, and uh, like I said, we should have been doing this. For a long time, so a lot of people are now more more familiar with some of the social platforms that they can that they can. Uh, my husband's filling out over there. More of the social platforms and how they can actually interact with people. So that has been a blessing in in uh, in, in in the whole outcome of all of this. We've learned a little bit more respect for each other. For each other, people are a little bit kinder, and I hope that carries on um, even after this has um, hopefully resolved itself. Um, it's. I don't think it's ever completely going to go be be uh, out of our system. I think that it is going to be around for a long time, but um, we are just going to learn how to be more responsible and um, safe about things. Um, wearing masks in public, uh, sanitizing and washing our hands better, which is a thing that we should have been doing all along. Um, like I said, as a nurse, um, I I wash my hands all the time, a bazillion times a day, until my my skin is almost falling off my fingers and, and hands and stuff. And I think I've, I've passed that on to my family and my kids and now my grandkids. So um, I'm not going to stay on here much longer. I've got a splitting headache. I don't think I drank enough water yesterday. And like I said, it's in the high 30s uh, Celsius or mid 30s Celsius here. And uh, I think I need to go and have some more water. <laughs> I'm go to bed here. Replay, and I will get 
back to you after the fact um, for day four, which we have to uh, share a book with you guys. So I have to go through my stores of books and look through my Audible stuff that I've been listening to, and I will pick out a book that I can share with you guys tomorrow. So cheers. Have a good one. Maybe I can try and figure out how to end this on my phone. Tell me what you thought of it being on the phone. Is it any different than it being through the computer? Give me a shout. Let me know. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. I think it's just because it was the phone was getting way too hot. It could be, but it's got kind of the audio went like it was uh, on drugs. Like us in a, well, like in, in a in a underwater bubble kind of thing. Well, somebody like, tried to. Still alive, by the way. Oh my goodness. Thank you.